Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I'm starting today's video here in the plant room. I have some flowers that I want to show you. Over in the corner here, I have my Christmas cactus in bloom and it looks beautiful. Check out those flowers. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a pretty cool plant. There it is there. Getting quite a thick trunk on it. I'll try and show you the trunk. I'll bring it over here under the light there. You can see the trunk now on it. It's starting to get thick and woody and it's getting some needles on it. Yeah, really cool. My yellow hibiscus way back here, I had two flowers on it the other day. It had looked really good too. Nice big yellow flowers. Over here in my Chinese village penjing, I put my new bridge in there in the garden area. It looks really nice too. I like the bridge there. On my hibiscus, my fire and ice hibiscus that Connor gave me, I've got a flower coming out on that. So that should be out in a, a day or two. There's a whole bunch of other buds here. There's one there and one here. So it seems to be quite happy in the plant room here. My ficus religiosa, you can see it here. It's all coming out into leaf. Very exciting. That's coming out nicely after it's pruning. Over here, I saved a cutting of a pink pixie bougainvillea for Aaron. It was just a tall one and it's starting to grow leaves in now and it has a flower up top. So yeah, Aaron moved out west, but he'll, he'll be back I'm sure someday and I'll save this bougainvillea for him. And when he, when we meet again, he can pick it up. My other pink bougainvillea over here is still in flower. They're starting to fade away now, but uh, they look pretty good you know, about a week ago. I see over here, this is my cutting of my Christmas cactus and it has flower buds on it too. So that's exciting. So that'll be flowering for the first time. Over here, the poinsettia that Jay gave me. It's still in flower, looking really nice. My crown of thorns over here, the flowers are fading. It's flowered since about fall till now and they're starting to kind of fade away and the green vegetative growth is starting to take over. My dragon style Schifflera here is starting to grow its new leaves in. There's shoots all over the ends of the branches. So that's exciting. My giant Hawaiian hibiscus here. I've never had it flower yet. It was grown from a seed and they were sent to me from Hawaii. This is their national flower. Um, I'm keeping my eyes open. I hope someday I get a flower on it because I think it'll be pretty cool. So that's my update in the plant room here. Next year, I'll be building tiered benches at the back wall here, you know, going up quite high. I'll be hanging my LED lights from the ceiling here. And I think I'll have a lot more space in here. My goal is to have a workspace in here to make videos, work on things like my temple, other projects. So I've got a good aisleway here. It's just full of plants. So I think once I get those tiered benches, all the lights hanging, I think it'll be pretty nice in here. As long as I don't get any more trees. <laughs> it's hard to do, but I'll, I'll keep trying on that. Uh, maintaining what I have and not collecting more. Much nicer in here. What have we got? 12.3 degrees Celsius or 54 degrees Fahrenheit, 54% humidity. I'm here in the greenhouse now. Yesterday I had Jay and Vince come over and Jay brought me some really nice presents. Uh, you can watch Jay's channel to see the full video of me opening the presents. He brought me some pots and some plants for my temple planting. Here's a look at the pots Jay got me. So 
this really nice dark brown one, a blue one, of course, from Blue Jay Bonsai, a nice jade colored green one like that, and a crackled, ah, sort of grayish tan colored pot. Really nice finish on it. So yeah, those are awesome. And he got me some ground cover, kind of a, an ivy and a, some club moss and a sort of miniature ivy ficus to plant with the temple to kind of grow up the, the temple, the side of the temple. That should look really, really nice. So thanks very much, Jay and Vince, for coming down yesterday. Today I've got Zinn coming down. He's going to bring some trees with him and we're gonna work on them here in the greenhouse. That should be really fun. Zinn has made it down to the bonsai zone and what was the weather like, Zinn? Uh, it's cold. cold. <laughs> it's very cold. And so, uh, there's a little light, light snow as well. Light snow, yeah. So he's brought lots of trees. He brought his big uh, jade from Connor's place, the big jade, and over here, the pomegranate beauty of a tree and the ficus that we worked on last year and it was kind of about this time it's wasn't about, it yeah, somewhere it's around December this time yeah. yeah so we're going to repot that and do some pruning on it so we're going to start we're going to go down into the basement and have a look at some of my jades and uh, get some ideas for styling them yeah. here's a shot of zin's jade so you can see it's got the nice rough bark the thick trunk a lot of branching here down low and a kind of a leader going up so very very nice a very cool looking tree after much much discussion and it took us about I don't know 15 minutes maybe yeah, something like that we have come up with a plan for this jade and what is it Zen <laughs> uh, we're going to do a massive cut oh. above this ring here so yeah somewhere around this area the middle you know between there yeah and hopefully there will be branch uh, develops on this ring or just underneath yeah um, that's the hope and then whatever's above I'll take it as a cutting yeah and maybe I'll take another cutting somewhere here so I have three trees in total and I can make a probably a small forest in the future that'll look nice yeah and hopefully this once I get some branching hopefully uh, you know you'll come have a broom style canopy kind uh, of go for that baobab style eh? The yeah thick trunk and the canopy. I think that's going to look really good. Something like that tree I have of Joey's there. Kind of keep it small and compact and... Yeah, this is just, it's too tall and uh, too straight. <laughs> yeah. Now, the other thing we discussed was how far down the trunk is. It could right. be, this is a cutting, so it could be planted quite deeply in the pot. So it's possible, you know, instead of being really stumpy, it'll be no, <laughs> it'll be a little taller, but just, yeah. that's fine because as it grows, then it'll thicken up and yeah. it'll come into really nice proportions. And the worst case scenario, twenty would be years. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. If we need to, right? Like... <laughs> yeah, I, I. I hate to do that once it's established its roots. Yeah. You kind of want to keep with, keep what you've got. It's, well, I hate starting okay. over. Yeah. Although I do start over a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's a good plan. Yeah. I, I think. Yeah, we were. We didn't want this to look like a house plant, did we? Yeah. We want to give it some tree-like style, mm -hmm. so and not a conventional tree. We wanted it to look like a succulent tree. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's a good plan. So we'll proceed with the uh, big cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we're back from lunch. Uh, I enjoyed the lunch. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we had a good look at this tree. This is the pomegranate without leaves. It's dormant, and there's. A lot of obvious problems. There's a lot of crossing branches here. Uh, Nigel pointed out there's an X in the middle, <laughs> which yeah. not always sees the X there. <laughs> so all those little, you know, vertical branches, these kind of really tight crossing, but they're all gold. They're quite obvious choices. Yeah. And then uh, we also discovered that there's a dead wood back here. So that's died. This, this bark can peel it right off. This is all dead wood. Yeah. Same as the top, I believe. Um, but that, I mean, that that will leave it for now. But eventually, you'll have to do something with that. Yeah, we talked about maybe just carving it away a bit so it looks more natural, and then it'll kind of rot away, and then this trunk will kind of eventually close that wound in. Yeah. In many years to come. Yeah. And then the, I think the front's about. Front there. was somewhere about here, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
Um, the biggest problem is that this really vigorous branch here uh, is kind of competing with the trunk. Yeah. So, plus, you know, this one on the left and this branch on the right. Uh, right now, there's a there's quite a bit of separation, but as the tree get older, that separation will kind of disappear, and they might look like bar branches, you know, years down the road. Yeah. Um, so this branch here, we uh, will most likely take it off. Yeah. <laughs> and see how it goes. And it kind of has a weird branch coming out towards yeah. the back, and I think that back part is better, isn't it? It's yeah. more in proportion. It just yeah, it just doesn't work with the tree right now. So yeah, yeah, we've got kind of two main leaders competing for each other or yeah. for the, about the same height and thickness and everything and it's just yeah so we'll do that first and uh you know go from there see, see what yeah like. and then we'll take another look at it and see see how it's looking that sounds good all right so another uh 10 to 15 minutes of discussion <laughs> of what to do with this and uh the possible outcomes is that one we take this off yeah. And we kind of rotate the tree so this becomes more to the side, yeah. you know, which which will work. Um, the other is basically taking this off and leaving the leader as is, and you have the two side branches. Yeah. Um, and then the f and another one that I was thinking about is taking this entire thing off the leader, and then rotating the tree so that this that's branch, your new leader. My thing. new leader that comes kind of towards us, and I would take this branch here as my basically the future leader yeah and then you know there's a butt there I'm hoping that'll come off and then we get some uh, movement and taper in the in the main trunk and you were going to rotate that this bar branch to yeah, the back to the so back. it would so be something like so you like don't there, see right? it anymore it's kind of a yeah. back branch and it and keep in mind this will get cut off eventually so that yeah that's just dumb. pretend that's not there <laughs> I, I think that looks good um, so this is my uh, third tree it is a ficus benjamina and we pruned this uh, last December, I believe. Um, it was around this time. And as you can see, it has grown in a lot. Yeah. And this here was the original front of the tree. Um, we took a look at this and there was a couple of problems that we saw. One of them was the, the kind of branch, these two branches here, they're kind of parallel. Yeah. And, uh, you know, basically we're thinking one needs to go. And we were also looking at the... Uh, the structure over here, right there, because this was the leader, or is the leader, and then you have this branch coming up and it kind of turns on a, an awkward angle and then you know the top kind of goes in. It's just, uh, it doesn't really flow nicely with the rest of the tree. So we were talking about how to solve this problem. Yeah. And, you know, we talked about taking this whole branch off. Yeah. And uh, you know, taking one of these off, and we were, when we were looking at it, this was the most awkward branch. We were going to take that off. Yeah. So that would leave this one. But then with this branch off and this back branch off, it's nothing over that side of the tree, <laughs> was there? Yeah. It's just like emptiness. Yeah. Yeah. That was a. That, that was our another problem that it created. Um, so then, Nigel came up with this one. <laughs> he uh, <laughs> rotated the tree like, well, this could be a possible friend instead. Yeah. Right on the corner here. So, in this case, we were talking about taking off this, these, these two branches, basically from the base. Yeah, yeah. This will serve as a back branch. This will be our new leader in the front. I'll clean this up, obviously. Yeah. And that solves our problems, because then we have a front branch that's kind of, kind of coming towards us, but not straight at us. Yeah. Then you have the two sides, you have the back branch, so... Uh, it seems to solve all the problems. Yeah, we still kind of have sort of the parallel branches here, but I think I think we can lower the one branch and raise the one. Right. So this is more like a trunk line, and this is more like a branch, and I think I think that'll work. Yeah. Do you you think so then? I think so. Um, this obviously had to get cut off, right? This is yeah. Yeah. So we keep that one going vertical, and the other one more horizontal. And I think that fixes the, yeah, fixes it, doesn't it? One becomes a trunk line, and the other becomes a branch. Yeah, because right now they're just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think that's. I think that'll work really well. <laughs> so I'm gonna move this marker. Yeah. To the new. The new front. Front. 
right about there. A new tree, a new day, a new front. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so Zen has trusted me with the pruning of this tree. <laughs> He's putting me to work, which is, that's good. So, yeah, let's do the major cuts first. So this, we were going to take this one right off because it kind of, yeah, it grows in a strange direction. Yep. So here I go. I'm going to, we don't have to worry about die back on these. They're pretty reliable. So here I go with the cut. Another big cut. Yeah. Oh, it's done. And that should heal pretty nicely. I'll clean up this stub here. Like that. Let's check the front. How's it looking? Looking pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think so. So we'll switch to the scissors now. So this one, we wanted to kind of keep vertical, so I'm going to take off this lower branch here. Like that. Um, this one was going to be more of a horizontal branch. Yeah. I'll bring that down probably with a guy wire, you think? I think I should shorten it. I've got a, a division yeah. here so I can take the tip off. Sure. Like that. And this one too. We've got a division here so I can take the straight part off. Eh? Like that. Just making it more compact. Yeah. And then guy wire it down. Yeah. Um, this one, I think. We've got a lot happening. There's a division here, which is nice. It flows. These ones are kind of coming 90 degrees to the, the branch line. So I don't know if I'd want to shorten it back to those. I think we keep this one and take these ones off, is my feeling. Yeah, yeah, I agree. These I'll are kind of... I'll take this old leaf off here. Yeah. They're kind of like... Yeah, well, we'll keep the uh, the flow. Keep this of the... here. Yeah. All right. I think so. It's done. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Okay, so that's kind of got that. Now, there is the possibility of shortening that one because you've got a branch here and one here, which mm. yeah. tough to say if you want it. It's it's very straight. That's the only problem. Right. Um, I'd say long term, that's probably the better thing to do is cut the tip off and then develop these yeah, out. Yeah. You do want to eventually kind of grow it up into the canopy here. Yeah. But we'll give it some movement. But, um, yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Zen? Um, I think the back one's not the greatest flow, is it? Not the greatest direction either. Yeah. Maybe just take that back one off and keep these keep two. Keep the front. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. We've got to go. Like that. I think that's good. Yeah. So these will come on. Yeah, this will kind of fill in out here. Yeah. This okay. one out front, um, I don't think we want it that long. Yeah, we'll uh, have to show this. I would take it back to this one. To that one. So we'll go more to the right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. I agree with that, yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Now this one may come off in the future, but you might want it to something to break up that smooth trunk line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want to see the trunk from top to bottom, which you're kind of seeing now, but <laughs> it'll it'll fill in. Yeah. Uh, there's a stub here I can clean up. Um, on this branch, we've got there's the obvious, you know, this thing here. Yeah. It's going into the tree. That one's definitely going to come off. Yeah. The one on the outside's all right. That one's fine. I think this one needs to be shortened. We've got a good. Should shorten it to that fanning out branch. Do you yeah, because that'll kind of make the flow going start going out outwards. Okay, so that comes off here. Yeah. Looks like a good angle, too. Yeah, it's nice. It flows nice, doesn't it? Flows. It creates that weeping. They do call these the weeping figs, so <laughs> we'll make it weep. Yeah. Um, there's something strange happening here. We've got this branch and this one kind of interfere. Uh, this one's very straight and it kind of comes from the inside of a curve here. My gut instinct tells me to take that one off. So if that comes off, Does it look too empty? Uh, I think it's okay because we have this in the front. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, this literally from the front, it looks like it's just 
it's a longer branch of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> so I, when that comes off, it's not a very interesting branch. It's very yeah. straight, and it's. Do you see how it sort of looks like oh, it yeah. comes from the inside of a curve? Yeah, like it's from this yeah. angle, it just looks looks terrible. Like, okay, so it's that's so straight, and this is like another type yeah, of thing. That one's yeah. got movement and taper. You so go. off it goes. Off it goes. Off it goes. <laughs> There. there we go. Okay. And I think there's a little work up top now. So we're going to follow these branches. This is fine. That looks good. That looks good. We're coming up here. We've got staggering branches. Um, I would say it's getting a little tall. It is getting we could take a little it tall. <laughs> to there, maybe. It's kind of going a weird direction, though. Yeah. Um, I was looking at this back here. And okay. Yeah. It's it's kind of got that same thing where it, it comes, the the branch comes on the inside instead of the going the opposite so direction. To print right here. I was thinking that too. Yeah. Because right. then we have the other one going to the back. Yeah. Yeah. Call it in. Yeah. Yeah. That looks better. Yeah, it's just a little long here in the apex, isn't it? We could reduce it. Um, just trying to see where. Take that stub off here. Maybe because there's one, there's a branch right there going towards the front. There's one just the tip for now, maybe. We've got two parallel branches here. Oh, those, yeah. We've got to solve that. Um, maybe, yeah, I think there, yeah, because this, that, and then also this one here, yeah, uh, it's eventually just going to be parallel. So, I guess we'll have to, I uh, think, make this the trunk line and this a branch by like that off there. You think? Sorry, you can't really see it. Yeah, that could work, I yeah. think so. Because then you have this as a branch, and then that's that, that's my main line going upwards, okay. I think so, yes. All right, here we go. This is a fairly big cut coming up. Just like that. Yeah, I think that's more, more, much better. That's a bit cleaner. pretty good looking tree, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a nice basic structure to it. And the structure is, uh, is what's important at this stage, I think. Yeah. All I'll these, think of that structure. You know. All these primary branches, because they're going to thicken up and thicken up and, <laughs> and there's no correcting much there unless you do really drastic pruning but yeah I think that's looking good okay now you wanted to repot this too I, I do um, do you mind lifting the uh, the pot so we can see what's underneath yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I just yeah. discovered the uh, amount of stuff coming out of the uh, the pot I mean this this is a root it looks like a rubber band but it's a root <laughs> okay <laughs> it goes out one drainage hole and in, in another yeah it's been in this pot for a year and a half to two years now, so I think okay. it's a good time to get it out. Yeah. Oh, it won't hurt to do a bit of root work on it and get them, yeah. maybe even expose some surface roots. Who knows? We'll see. That'd be cool. And you know, these roots here, Yeah. Uh, I remember you mentioned in one of the videos that a week after you bring them indoors from uh, the fall weather, oh, yeah. it yeah. Cr creates that humidity. Yeah. That's when these grew. These uh -huh, okay. But I was, I was like, why is it coming out with so many roots? Like, I, my house is dry, you know, it's not that humid. And I was wondering about that, and then you had a video on it. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Must That's be. what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Could be the drop in light, too. Yeah. Stimulates root growth or something. Yeah. Something happened. Yeah. So <laughs> it might do it every year when I bring them in. They drop aerial roots and they start yeah. doing cool things. And then are you going to put the rocks on top for the trip home? Sure. All right. Um, we have two matching granites, I think you said? Yeah, okay. I think they're granites. So, uh, I'm not really good at putting the rocks on. But I just kind of fit it around the trunk as close as I can. Like, yeah. Yeah, I would, <laughs> I would go even a little closer. So I would go... I'm blocking it again, sorry. Yeah. And then you push them down. Oh, that's nice and stable yeah. in there. This was actually one piece of rock and the tree grew and break, broke yeah, the rock exactly. too. <laughs> Super tree. Yeah. Zinn has finished all three trees today. Two are pruned up severely. One was repotted with severe root pruning. Yeah. Now, I think they'll look pretty good in the future. Yeah, and uh, it didn't take us too long. It's, you know, 
Oh, still light out. Three, just, four hours probably. <laughs> still light out, that's a good sign. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was a great day in the bonsai zone. I uh, hope to make it back next year sometime. Yeah, it was great having you, Zin. Yeah, we'll you see you next you. time. <laughs> I really enjoyed having Jay and Vince over on the Sunday and then Zin on the Monday. It was great seeing them before the year ends. If you want to see more of the details of uh, Zin's trees, I put a link to his channel in the description below. You can see a more detailed the before and after of the pruning, and the repotting of the ficus and all that kind of interesting work. On my video, I just kind of showed more of the thought process behind the styling and pruning of the trees. So that is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>